Barbara. And I'm Karen, and we're the Sing Sisters. Hey Siri, turn on the family room lights. Okay, the lights are on. Set to beach. All right, your home is set for beach. No, set for concentrate. Your wish is my command. Voila, concentrate. That is so cool, just to turn on all your lights in the room just by talking to Siri. Yeah, we're having so much fun with using it. And now that Apple came out with the Home app in iOS 10, it's even easier to control your HomeKit-enabled devices. So, yeah, I, I saw the Home app, and I was wondering, well, how, what is the HomeKit and what is the Home app? Okay, well, HomeKit came out in iOS 8, and it's Apple's technology that other manufacturers put in their devices so that they could be controlled by Siri. Okay. Okay. And that was great. So our only interaction with these HomeKit enabled devices like lights were through Siri. But now Apple came out with the Home app, which allows you to control all the HomeKit enabled devices in one place. And um, there's things like thermostats, uh, uh, what other kind of things? Ceiling fans. Ceiling fans. Um, you can even get like, um, uh, blinds for your windows, you can right. get um, other appliances like portable heaters, humidifiers. And there's a crock pot right yeah. now. And right? a Mr. Coffee. So oh, you could lay in bed and say, you know, or you could say when my alarm clock goes off, turn the coffee pot on. Or when I turn the bedroom lights on, turn the coffee pot on. So right. there are all kinds of home automation things that you can And there's do. even like a plug that you can get oh, right. to plug in and then virtually anything. Anything you yeah. plug into that plug, you can control. Right. It's a fantastic thing. So let's take a look at the home app. Yeah, let's look at the home app. So here, now we're going to take a look at the home app and all the great features it has. So we're going to, it looks like a little house. Go ahead Very and tap homey, on it. Right? Very <laughs> homey. And it brings us into the app. And um, if you're not on the default page, if you're following along, you want to make sure that down on the bottom here, the home app is the one that's orange. Okay. Um, orange seems to be the color in here. But there are three options on the bottom, home, rooms, and automation. And we're going to start out by looking at home. So this is the home app. And the first thing you'll notice about the home app is that it, it gives us, first of all, the name. I've called it Zade Family because mm -hmm. it's our house. Um, and then it tells you the status. Right now it says the family room lights are on. If okay. the bedroom lights were on, it would say that. If there was something else going on, they would all be listed here. Um, we can tap on details, and it'll bring up the details. And it'll show me all these lights that are on, every individual bulb that's on. And then, oh, we have attention here. The basement standing light is not responding. And what probably happened there is it got manually turned off. Oh. In order for this to all work, you turn your wall switches on or you turn your light on and you leave it that way right. and then you let the device um, and the app control it. But that's nice that it alerts you to that. It does. Yeah. It does. And in fact, Siri will say funny things too if you you know tell her to do something and she'll say, not all the lights are responding. <laughs> <laughs> so she gets kind of silly about stuff like that. Right. Anyway, so that's the main screen. We also have favorite scenes that come up, which we're going to be taking a look at how to control. And scenes are different settings that you have set up for different rooms, right? Right, for different lights and yeah, things that are right. going on. And we're going to take a look at that in a second. And then favorite accessories. I like to keep my bedside lamp in here so it's oh. easy to turn on and off. And we have the wall outlet on here too. Perfect. Um, up in the upper left, you're going to see kind of a... Um, Looks like the where am I icon, the location, the location icon, yeah. and if we tap on that, it's going to come up and show you the different homes that you have. You could have multiple houses. Oh, so, so where is your beach house? <laughs> My beach house on Maui. It's coming in the future. Yeah, um, Dreamland. Dreamland. Anyway, I just set one up so we have one in here. But, but a lot of people do have vacation homes, or that's right, like that. or they may have a rental home, or you might be doing mm -hmm. a lot of VRBOs, and you can have it set up there. So here you can navigate to a different house, um, and I can go to home settings. And here come up, and again, it's kind of a redundant menu. i got to pick the one I want to go into, or I can add a home. Okay. This is where you add a home. So I'm going to go into Zade Family. Here's where I can rename it. So if I tap in here, I could give it a different name if I wanted to. Mm -hmm. um, and then home hubs. Um, this is a really great feature. It's very simple to do. Um, and you can use an Apple TV if you have one, mm -hmm. or you can use an older or an iPad as long as the iPad is always turned on. Right. 
as a home hub. And what that'll allow you to do is control the HomeKit enabled devices from anywhere. Oh, so great. you could be not at home and turn the lights on and off. Otherwise, or, it just works when you're home. Otherwise, it just works yeah. when you're home. So right. it's a very nice feature. That's great, yeah. Right. Um, and then we have people. So you can share the home with people. So like in our family, I set the home up, but then I shared it with my husband. Yeah. I gave him remote access, and I also allowed him to edit. Okay. So he can do everything, and I could remove him. If yeah. I <laughs> <laughs> and then you can add other people. Here was a home sitter that I added. And I allowed her remote access, but I didn't allow her editing capabilities. Uh -huh. So she couldn't go in and... Makes sense. Mess yeah. up all your systems. It's not messing it all up. <laughs> all your scenes. Right. So if you had a house and you had house guests coming, you could give them control so they could right. control their part of the house or whatever, your part, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> um, then we have wallpaper. So you can take a photo or you can choose from existing photos that um, either they have or photos that you've taken. Yeah. And um, that's the one we have, so that you're going to see that when we go back out. And then you can add home notes. So if you had information about your house, or if you, you know, if you were doing a rental, this is great. You could put, you know, garbage days and other things that you might right. want to note about the house right in here. And you can remove a home. Perfect. So that's Pretty all easy that to is. Use, right? It's very simple to use. And you can see here our wallpaper in the background <clears throat> is that photo. The next thing we have here is we have edit and we have plus. Okay, edit is just going to let us come out here and move things around. You can tell because they're wiggling, they're kind of wigg like apps on your home screen. Right, so if I wanted the relax one to be at the top, oh, that's, would, yes. that's the one I go into a lot. So yeah. <laughs> we'll go ahead and turn that one on. You can move these, you know, just tap and hold just like you're moving apps around on the desktop. And mm -hmm. again, if you go in here, it's going to take you into where we just were, the edit screen. So yeah. it's just another way to get to that. Okay. Um, the plus sign will let you add an accessory or add a scene. We'll okay. be looking at both of those in just a minute. And then favorite scenes is going to, when you create a scene, which we're going to look at, you can tell it to add it to the favorites, and then it will show up here. And then favorite accessories. Anytime you add an accessory, or you can go in and edit one later, you can add it to um, the home page. Okay. And that's what the home For page easy is. For access. That's yeah. right. So now let's take a look Perfect. at rooms. So now we're going to move over here to the rooms tab. And you can see we have our room set up. Like this is our bedroom, basement, office. And um, <clears throat> so we have those set up. Mm -hmm. And the first thing we see on a page is that it says the scenes. Now the scenes, um, what are going to show up for each room are that if they'll use lights or appliances or plugs that are in that room, right? Right. Yeah. Right. And then it'll also show the, you the accessories that are in that room. Right. And you can see here, here's the no response one. Yes. Right. The basement <laughs> the has a robe light. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so if I go up here onto the menu, you can see this is another way to navigate your rooms instead of swiping. <clears throat> you can just simply click on one and go to it. I'm going to go back in here. This is also where you're going to add a room. If I go to room settings, I can do add a room. Mm -hmm. So if you hook up a new room in your house with devices, you can add it here. Right. It doesn't actually, I mean, you have to tell it the room and you have to tell it what devices are right. in it. And if we click on a room here for the settings, you could see, uh, you could change the name here or you can have a nice wallpaper. This is kind of fun. We've gone ahead and take pictures of the room. Right. It's right. kind of fun. Right. right. It's fun. And then if you want to delete the room, you could remove it here. So if I navigate back out. Then the next one up here, the edit button, again, it's just like on the home page. It's going to wiggle. You can move them around or another way to go into the bedroom setting. Mm -hmm. And then here, for the plus button, this is where you add an accessory or add a scene. Now, we're going to uh, show you how to add an accessory in just a minute, right? Mm -hmm. So should we show them how to add a scene here? If I tap on that. Then you can see they have some suggested ones like good night or I'm leaving. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create a custom one. So I'm going to tap on that and I'm going to call this one B for Barbara, you, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. Reading. Yeah, this is a good one. I need this one. Okay, so this is for when you're reading in bed at night and your husband is sleeping. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do first is add those two lights that we want. Um, and you can see it's categorizing what accessories are in each room. Right. So I'm going to go ahead and add uh, Barbara's 
bedroom light, and I'm going to um, add Mohsen, your husband's. Mm -hmm. And you'll see why. Because here it says Mohsen's is off, but we want to turn yours on. So I'm going to tap on it. Oops. Now, I did, I just tapped on it and pressed and hold, yeah. but it's off. <clears throat> so I didn't mean to do that right now. <laughs> there, now it's on. Yeah. Just a nice little tap. <laughs> now, if I press and hold that, We'll bring this up, and look, I can dim those lights. Right. Isn't that nice? Isn't that great? I think I like it around 75 yeah. for reading. Yep. I, I wish you could punch in the number, though. I will have to yeah, say that. Yeah, because that was kind of hard. I was like, it well, was you're going to have to be happy with 72. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And if you're doing a bunch of lights right. and you want on the same dim level, it's kind of a kind of a hassle. And down here, you see color. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on that. Now, this is so fun. Yeah. This is the reason people like all these lights, right? Right. You can change the color of the light. It's right. really nice. And here in the center, you can see the edit button. If I go here, this is where I could change the color, pick anything I want to be on the wheel. And down here, you can see temperature. So you can change Isn't that the nice? temperature of it, too. Yep. So once I get, um, let's just pick a new color. A new color, I say done. Now it's in the center. If I want to add it to one of my presets, presets, I can tap and hold. Nice. And then it goes over there. Nice. And the colors are really fun. And I found even with when you have it white, it's so much brighter than right. a regular light bulb. It's really fantastic. Right. And then to get out of this screen, you just <clears throat> kind of tap off to the side. Right. So we have this set up. If we were in the room, we could test the scene. Mm -hmm. Or we could add more accessories if we, you know, forgot to add something. So right. We add it again. Maybe the nightlight or something. Yes. Yeah. And if we um, do show and favorites, that's going to add it to our home screen. Right. So I'm going to go ahead and be done. And I'll go back out to the home screen. And Barbara Reed. Well, here, up here. It's oh, going to be a at scene. the very end. It's a scene, and there. Well, there's so many scenes. There's so many scenes. There it is. Be Reed. <laughs> you really like your setting up your lights, don't I do, you? I do. It's so much fun, really. <laughs> so that's how you do rooms. So now uh, let's go ahead and take a look at adding accessory. So now we're going to go ahead and take a look at adding a HomeKit device to the Home app. So we have here um, three different devices. We have two different switches and we have a Philips Hue light. And what we're going to take a look at is adding this wall outlet right here. This is a smart plug, so anything you plug into it will <clears throat> turn on uh, through the, you'll be able to control through the home app. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open the box. And here's the plug right here. It's very simple. It's getting it out of the box is never yeah, right. simple, right? Um, here's the plug. You can see it just goes right into the wall switch, and there it is. Now, every uh, HomeKit device has a unique identifier on it, and that's how the, the Home app knows what's on the network. So you want to make sure that you look for products that work with Apple's HomeKit. That HomeKit that's logo. really important. Otherwise, you won't be able to control it through the Home app. Right. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to plug this in. And... It's going to ask us to scan this number. Now, it's going to be kind of hard to do that when it's in the wall because, yeah. <laughs> you know, it would be really hard to reach right. that. So what they've done for devices like this is somewhere in the little manual There's is the, the number. number. Oh, perfect. So you want to make sure that you have So some that. you can just hold your phone up and scan it, but others you right. can find it in the book. Right, exactly. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go into the Home app. We're in the Home app here. And I'm going to go, and I'm going to go to the right room, okay? If, if you add an accessory here on the home page, what it'll do is it'll put a room, it'll make, create a room called default room. Okay. And stick it in there, because it doesn't physically know where everything is. You have to right. tell it that. So I'm in the office here, and you can see I've got a Philips Hue bridge in here. It's in the office. And I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to add plus. Wait a minute. Let me see yeah. that. Yeah. And then I'm going to add accessory. And it's going to go out and it's going to find any devices that are sitting out there waiting to be discovered. And there is the plug right there. Perfect. Tap on it. And it's going to say position the home kit number in the frame. Well, again, a little hard to do that and keep it plugged in. So we'll go ahead and use this. You can see Great. it automatically scanned Easy. it. Right. If you can't find that or you've accidentally thrown the packaging away, yep. you can go ahead and um, punch it in manually. So now it came up and it says it's here. Um, we can identify the accessory which will, um, I think, allow us to take a picture of it. Okay. Oh, maybe not. It's just identifying it, turning it on yeah, and off. Yeah, right. Here's the name of it. The location. Oh, it did put it in the default room. Well, that's I'll interesting. So I'm going to move it to the office. Very easy. I can give it a type. 
it's already got the right thing. It's an yeah. outlet. And I can include it in favorites, which will show up on the home page, which I think is a good idea. So I'm going to say done, and it's going to come up. And if I go to the home page, you're going to see there it is as a default room item. Perfect. And I can turn it on and turn it off. And take a look here at the plug. This one's kind of cute. The E turns on when it's on. So when oh, I turn it off, fine. the E is gone. off when I turn it oh, on. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> and it makes a little click, too. Yep, I heard it. So that's how you add a HomeKit enabled device to your network. All right, so now we're going to take a look at the last tab on the bottom here, which is automation. And this is really fun because um, the Home app allows you to change a variety of accessories based on three different things. You can base it on a time of day, when your location changes, or when a certain accessory is controlled. So that's really cool. So I have one set up here that says when I arrive home, it's going to turn on two different scenes and 13 different accessories. You could just go crazy with you, this, you right? You can go nuts. <laughs> you can go nuts. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new automation. It's very easy to do. And you can see here the three different things. You can, what, what do you want? How do you want this automation to occur? When your location changes at a certain time of day or when an accessory is controlled. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and take, um, take when an accessory is controlled. So at night, if we're downstairs and we're in the basement, okay, I'm going to say, I'm going to turn these two, I'm going to pick this. So when the basement light goes off, and you're going to see that in a second. So it says, choose the accessory that'll start the automation. Okay. Okay. Next. And then I'm going to say, when this accessory, the basement TV light strip turns off. Okay. Next. And then you, it brings up all your scenes. Oh, so wow. now I can go down and I can find our, um, what I want to do is I want to turn on the bedtime scene. Perfect. Okay. Okay. And I can also control things. I don't manually, have to do a scene. Right? I can control scene. things manually and go to next. And then I can also say only after sunset. So if we happen to be downstairs watching a movie on a dark, you know, Sunday afternoon, and then we come upstairs, I don't want it to turn on unless it's after sunset. Oh, perfect. So it's a really nice feature. And say done. And there it is. So when the basement light TV strip turns off, the lights in the bedroom are going to oh, turn on and we'll be so ready to fun. go up. It's you never fantastic. have to do anything again. <laughs> no, I mean you can have it. You know, they you can have something really complicated. When you come home, the lights turn on, the blinds oh, open, and it's so, so on. Cool. Yep, it's really awesome. Now there were a few other things with iOS 10. Right. Um, some uh, Siri commands. I know Siri always gets a hard time. Yeah, for Siri. <laughs> but her commands got a lot smarter with iOS 10, including for the Home app. That's right. So um, things that you say to her certain commands work a lot better. That's right. Also, um, with the Apple Watch, the Home app was included. So yeah. if you are a lucky Apple Watch owner, you can control the Home app there. And also, it got its own screen on the control panel. See, I'm going to go, here's your control panel, right? Now, if you watch our music app video, it, that has its own right. panel. Right, And the Home app has its own panel. Gives right. it a lot of space used to see all your devices and scenes and things right. like that. Right. So you basically see your scenes or your accessories. Yeah. Those are the two Perfect. things. Yep. It is great. And so Apple's Home app is an awesome addition to home automation. It allows you to control all your HomeKit enabled devices with one elegant interface. Yeah, it's great. And it's fun. Hope you enjoyed learning with Sync Sisters. You're watching the Sync Sisters Tech Bit. And please subscribe to our channel.